Hello, yes. I thought I'd take a break from Game of Thrones and do something more topical, so shut up and sit down. In part one of probably a good few episodes, I'll be analysing the accents of the characters featured in the HBO series House of the Dragon. To start with, I want to take a look at the Hightowers. The only one we saw in Game of Thrones was Gerald Hightower, a knight of the Kingsguard who Ned Stark dispatched at the Tower of Joy. In House of the Dragon we get a whopping five of them, so let's dive right in as the cool kids say. Lyness, the wife of Head Hightower Honcho Hobart, speaks in a sort of period drama gossipy posh voice. She doesn't get much screen time, but the actress manages to convey the character's nature pretty well. My husband says that no king has ever been able to tame the stepstones for long. It's an inhospitable place suited only for savages. Hobart himself also doesn't get much screen time. Speaks RP with a touch of Welsh here and there. Fitting being brothers with Otto, but more on that later. I, Lord Hobart Hightower, beacon of the south, defender of the citadel, and voice of Old Town. Promised to be faithful to King Viserys and his named heir, the Princess Rhaenyra. Gwain, the brother of Queen Alison, go green team, sounds snidey in RP at first. Which is why we make for the bull. A tavern with an excellent reputation on the Rosby Road, not two miles away from memory serves. We march to make the first strike in the name of his grace. I assure you my nephew will not begrudge me a night of comfort. But we later get a gentler side to his words when he is comforting Alison. My son Daron. He's kind. Alison the Younger has a sort of Kate Middleton thing going on. Sounds suitably posh, I guess. You're not always like this when you're worried. Like what? Disagreeable. The older version speaks in a perfectly RP voice that seems permanently on the verge of exasperation. She'll never bend the knee. Nor will Damon, which you know. Otto Hightower, the Tywin Lannister of this era, has a great theatrical voice like someone playing a king in a Shakespeare play. With his last breath he impressed upon the Queen his final wish that his son, Aegon, should succeed him as Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. The angrier he gets, the more well she sounds. But it actually works really well. And hand them from the walls of the city for all to see! Plot against the king and I will pay it back a hundred... They are fathers and brothers and sons! And their wives and children gather now at our gates to weep and curse your name! So overall I'm awarding House Hightower six green Gawains out of seven. Bye then. <laughs>